title of the first section is find the x and y intercepts. In this section, we'll find the x and y intercepts for an equation. If you remember from previous sections, the y intercept. When solving an equation, the y intercept x will be 0. And likewise, the x intercept. Every x intercept, the y value would be 0. So we'll take the opposite letter and set that equal to 0 to find both of the intercepts. First equation is x plus 2y equals 18. To find the y-intercept again, we can put a 0 for the x value. So 0 plus 2y equals 18. 0 plus 2y would be 2y equals 18. And solving for y, we can divide by 2. So y equals 9. So the y-intercept, where the graph crosses the y-axis, would be 9. Second part of the problem, we'll find the x-intercept. Going back to the original equation, but this time we'll put a 0 for the y-value. So we'll have x plus 2 times y, or 2 times 0, equals 18. Solving, 2 times 0 would be 0, and x plus 0 would be x. So we'll have our second answer, x equals 18. So the two intercepts, the y-intercept is 9, and the x-intercept is 18. Second question, and last question for the section. Equation is negative 5x plus y equals 30. Again, plugging zeros in, we can put a 0 for x, which would be negative 5 times 0 plus y equals 30. Negative 5 times 0 would be 0. And if we add y to that, it would just be y. So y equals 30 would be the y-intercept. Second part of the problem, go back to the original equation, and this time we'll put a 0 for the y-value. So we'll have negative 5x plus 0 equals 30. 0 again, we can cross off or ignore. So we'll have negative 5x equals 30. Solving, we can divide by negative 5. So x equals 30 divided by negative 5 would be negative 6. So our two intercepts, x-intercept is negative 6, and the y-intercept is 30. The title of the last section today is Graph Using X and Y Intercepts. In this section we'll graph and we'll use the X and Y intercepts like we found in the previous section. First equation is 2x plus 3y equals 12. First, to find the intercepts again, we can replace one of the variables with a 0. If we do x first, that would be 2 times 0 plus 3y equals 12. 2 times 0 again would be 0. We can cross off. So we'll have 3y equals 12. And dividing both sides by 3, 
we'll have y equals 4. So the y-intercept would be 4. Solving for the x-intercept, we'll go back to the original equation, but instead of a 0 for x, this time we'll put a 0 for y. So we'll have 2x plus 3 times 0 equals 12. 3 times 0 would be 0. So we'll have 2x equals 12. Dividing both sides by 2. And x equals 6. So the two intercepts, we have a x-intercept at 6 and y-intercept of 4. Graphing from here, we can draw the x-y-axis. Looking at the numbers, the biggest number is 6, so we can go 6 spots in each direction. To graph the y-intercept, y equals 4, the y-axis in the middle of the graph will cross at positive 4, so we can put a point at y equals 4. And also the x-intercept, where it crosses the x-axis, the horizontal axis, is at 6, so we'll go over to 6 and put a point at x equals 6. Once we have these two points, we can connect them and that would be the line for the equation. Second equation and last equation for this section is negative 4x plus y equals 8. Solving this again, we can plug zeros in. If we plug a 0 for x first, we'll have negative 4 times 0 plus y equals 8. Negative 4 times 0 would be 0. So we'll be left with y equals 8. Solving the same equation again, but we'll put a 0 for y. We'll have negative 4x plus 0 equals 8. Negative 4x plus 0 would be negative 4x equals 8. Dividing by negative 4, and we'll have x equals 8 divided by negative 4 would be negative 2. So we'll have two intercepts. The x-intercept is at negative 2, and the y-intercept is at 8. Graphing from here, we can draw the xy-axis. The biggest number we have is 8. So we can go 8 in each direction. Graphing the intercepts, y equals 8. The line will cross the y-axis at positive 8. And the x-intercept is at negative 2, so the x-axis will put a point at negative 2. Using these two points, we can connect them, and that would be the graph for the equation.